this episode is specifically about how I went from getting a U to straight A's at A level. I used to get told that I'm going to be a dustbin man and I'm not going to achieve anything when I was older and I was told this by people around me when I was at school and by certain teachers. So let's roll. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another episode with myself, Dr. Mirinveer Singh. And most of you are probably thinking, no way this guy's probably got straight A's since the day that he was born. You know, that type of thing that he's fed with a silver spoon, no way. When I was in primary school, I was that kid that always used to get the B's and the C's and that pretty much continued through secondary school. Even through to year nine and 10, I started to manage to creep a few A's in there. And at GCSE, I wasn't in the group of the high flying kids who were getting the A's. The truth of the matter is to study a degree like medicine those grades were considered not good everybody else that I was competing against for medicine were getting straight A's so I was already behind and then when it came to my A levels the very first exam that I sat was the geography exam and I absolutely failed I got a U I was the first person in my school's history to get a U in that subject at A level it was absolutely heartbreaking most of you are probably sitting there thinking why are you even bothering telling us how you went from a U to an A well I'm telling you simply because I'm showing you different ways and techniques so that you can push yourself to be the best that you can be and that even though if you're failing in a subject with the right mechanisms you can achieve the top grade and I'm living proof of that so when I got this U grade in the beginning it was disheartening I just could not believe the grade in itself but I'm someone of that mentality that if something hits me down I tend to get back up and when I get back up, I'm gonna hit back even harder. So when I saw that U grade, it only determined me to go forward and push forwards to achieve the best grades that I could get. So to me, I needed to prove something to the teachers and to myself. And it only led to one thing, working my ass off. I worked so hard, the number of hours, the different techniques that I used was relentless. I literally was working 12, 13 hours a day, revising on the weekends, revising on weekdays, during Christmas holidays, Easter holidays, everything, even Christmas day I spent revising. I missed birthdays and other family functions I missed simply just because I needed to revise to get my head down to get the task done which was get the best mark possible and get the A that I was looking for. I'd practice different techniques, highlighting, writing, reading out loud, active recall, testing myself, doing practice papers, every technique that you could think of and the links are at the beginning of the video and they'll come up at the end in my video of how to remember everything and how to forget nothing. But one thing above and all these other different techniques was the simple fact of wanting to achieve. Now this is one of the big factors and this is one of the factors where most people tend to fall down. There was a desire inside of me that wanted to achieve and the achievement was not just getting the A but what the A would lead to. For myself getting those A grades at A level would mean that I would be able to apply for medicine and at least get my foot into the door of having a chance to compete against everybody else at interviews. If I didn't achieve these A-level grades, it would mean that I'm already behind everybody else, making it so much harder to get into medical school. So I was working like a beast. Even on the journey to school, which was a 40-minute coach ride, I would be learning and revising when everybody else would be relaxing and chatting. So any opportunity I was using to push knowledge into my brain. Now some people might say that too much they're not able to do it or they might even say that science proves that it's not effective well I can only tell you from my point and it is effective it worked so if you want to be that person who wants to achieve, it has to come from inspiration and the desire. The inspiration and desire to achieve something and to see your end goal. And for me, that end goal was getting into medical school so that I could become a doctor. Now for some of you, you may have a goal, but that goal depends on how deep that desire and inspiration is. For myself, that came from a very young age. And that was because I used to get told that I'm gonna be a dustbin man and I'm not gonna achieve anything when I was older. And I was told this by people around me when I was at school and by certain teachers. Now this can go a handful of ways for a few people when they get told these negative comments. You can either send them down the pathway of where they actually won't achieve because psychologically they will become what you're telling them to be. The other thing is it can actually force people to become a better version of themselves and that all depends on your environmental factors, your genetic factors, your psychological makeup, your genetic makeup and other deeper things like your karmic memory that are ingrained inside of you. So all these different factors added together dictate the type of person and the personality that you have and how you react to certain events. 
So for myself, it just happened to be so that when people say negative things to me, it only pushes me into a different direction of which is positivity. So when I've been told that I can't achieve and that I won't accomplish anything, it only pushed me into a direction of achieving and accomplishing. The end result was that I worked so hard for my geography exam that I ended up getting 99 and 100% in the individual exams. That meant that I got the highest score that was seen by the school. And that all came down to the amount of effort and the different techniques that I used and applied to achieve the best possible. So my advice to you is if you're not achieving, if you're not getting the grades that you want, is that you have to look at a handful of factors. One of the factors is what's your goal, what's your aim, and the reason behind that. There has to be something coming from deeper within. There has to be that genuine burning desire to achieve something. When you know what that burning desire is, you're then able to apply that to your learning, and then you can use different techniques, different technologies that exist to enhance your learning, your memory, and exam techniques, so that you can then better yourself and get the best grades possible. When I put that amount of effort of learning and achieving the grades that I got, it showed me that I could achieve beyond what other people were saying was possible. I used that same hunger and thirst for achieving throughout my medical school and I keep using it again whilst being a doctor and that's exactly what I did to pass my postgraduate medical exams with the different Royal Colleges of Royal College of Surgeons and the Royal College of Emergency Medicine and that's why always since that exam at A level I've always passed my other exams first time with the highest mark possible because to me getting second best it's not good enough it has to be number one and it's possible and it's attainable and you can do that yourself. Well that's the end of this video but I will be producing some other videos to do with these different types of topics so I hope you enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you in the next video and remember if you want to check out how to remember everything and forget nothing the video will be put up here and if you want to check out some of my other videos for example fight scene breakdowns from Batman vs Superman or episode of day in the life of a doctor where I go through and I cover different cases that I see which are real life cases that will be popped up here as well so go and check those out and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.